Hey, how's it going, YouTube? I'm back in the video, and today I'm talking about why the Phoenix Suns need to draft Zion Williams. And on draft night, if they somehow don't get the number one overall pick in the lottery, need to trade their pick and trade pretty much any asset they have besides Aiden and Booker to get the number one overall pick so they can draft Zion Williams. As I mean, if you haven't been living under a rock and you follow the NBA or and or basketball at all, you pretty much know that Zion Williams is could possibly be the next LeBron, especially athletic-wise and just excitingly-wise, he could be the next LeBron James. So, I mean, I'm beginning to why I think they need, and I mean need to draft Zion Williams and how I think this could make them a future dynasty in the making if they are able to draft Zion Williams. So, without further ado, without running on too much, let's get right into this video. Alright, so my first reason for this video is going to be they, they could have the big three of the future. As I mean, if you look at it, with the Suns right now sitting at an 11-48 record, there is a huge, huge chance that they do get in a one overall pick as they are currently tied for the worst record in the entire NBA with the New York Knicks. So like I said, there's a very, very high chance that they could end up with the number one overall pick. But with that number one overall pick, they already have two great young players as they have a 22-year-old Devin Booker who averages 24.6 points Per game, four rebounds per game, 6.7 assists per game, and a rookie in DeAndre Aiden who's averaging 16.5 points per game, 10.5 rebounds per game, two assists per game, and one blocks per game. And both of them could definitely be the future of their position. Devin Booker is showing that he is one of the best scorers in the league. I think he had a 70 point game not too long ago. And DeAndre Aiden, literally any other year, pretty much as a rookie, he would be the rookie of the year. But Luka Doncic is going to be the rookie of the year this year. But if you didn't have Luka Doncic, he would for sure be the next guy up. And DeAndre Aiden looks like he could also be the future of his position in the years to come. Because they already look like they have a very, very bright future with those two players. And if they can build around them too, just by themselves, they would, they do have a chance to have a very, very bright future. But then if you also add Zeon Williams to those two players, then you have a big three that could be probably the best big three in the entire league. As I mean, it's pretty much since LeBron James, we have not seen another athlete or basketball player be this excited about coming out of the draft, coming out of college, being this excited to really see what he's going to be able to do in the NBA. And that we're pretty much saying that he's going to be a instant game changer for whatever team he goes on. And if you can add Zion Williams, who this year with Duke is averaging 22.4 points per game, 9.2 rebounds per game, 2.3 assists per game, and 2.3 steals per game, and 2 blocks per game, while shooting 68% from the field, you can create a big three that will not even be able to be touched in the future. Because just think, they're all going to be peaking at one time, and I'll be getting a little bit more in depth to that very, very soon. But I mean, just look at your big three. You would have Devin Booker, who could definitely in the probably four or five years be the best shooting guard in the league. DeAndre Aiden, who could probably be a top two, top three center in the entire league in a few years. And then Zion Williams, if he does go like people go like think he will and be as good as people think he will in the NBA, well, you could definitely have one of the best small forwards in the entire league as well in Z Zion Williams. And you can really play power forward, small forward. You can play either one. He's really interchangeable. So you can have either, probably the future of both of those positions as well. And that if you dra do draft Zion Williams. So, I mean, just the possibilities to compare a dead-eye shooter like Devin Booker, a just a great center in DeAndre Aiden, and then a possibly future LeBron James to pair them with all that. I mean, it won't even be that hard to build a team around that at that point due to how bright their future would be. I know my second reason is going to be that their team is primed to, well, all hit their primes at one time. As yes, they currently have Devin Booker and DeAndre Ayton, but also in, they also have last year's fourth overall pick, Josh Jackson, who is only 22 years old and still has a lot of potential. And he's been coming off the bench recently, but I mean, he's still way too early to tell how good his career is going to end up being and how good of a player he actually is. So with how athletic Josh Jackson is and how good of a defender he is, he definitely has a chance to end of developing into a very nice starting player on their team once he develops. And then also this year's 10th overall pick in Mikel Bridges, who is also only 22 year, years old. And assuming that he develops like everyone expects him to develop, as he's more of a good 3 and D type player, well, I mean, they have a very nice chance just with those four players, even without Zion Williams. I mean, those four players could be very nice. Because, I mean, Devin Booker and DeAndre Aiden are already developed way past their years and, like, are playing way beyond how experienced they are. So, 
Mikel Bridges and Josh Jackson can even become maybe good starting players for them. And then you add Zion Williams to that, who has a chance to be one of the best players in the league one day if he is as good as people say he will be. They have a dynasty in the making, as I mean, all those players will be hitting their stride and their prime. Add a few role players to the bench because you're like a legit contender because all your players are so good at the time. You will have a legit chance to be a championship contender in a few years. So I do think if the Phoenix Suns are able to land the number one overall pick and draft Zion Williams, that will completely change the direction of their organization and that their team will go from one of the worst and then a couple years to be one of the best teams in the league. Because I just don't see a team with someone that is as beastly as a scorer as Devin Booker. Someone who's as good of a traditional center as you can get. Averaging almost 20 points per game in his rookie year. And he's already averaging a double-double in his rookie year. You can't ask for much more than that. And then, I mean, Josh Jackson's a nice role player to have. And um, we don't even know what Mikael Bridges is going to be yet. He looks like he can be a Trevor Ariza type player. Which is a very good role player to have on your team. So, I mean... I can see all this working out very, very good for the Suns. And say next year Zion Williams doesn't have the immediate impact he would if they do draft him. Well, that that's even better because they're going to get more young talent and they're just going to keep on building on it. So the Phoenix Suns could definitely end up having something very, very nice on their hands. Now, if I was the Phoenix Suns, because even if I don't get the number one overall pick and someone like New York mixes, I'm going all in. The only two untouchables is Aiden and Booker. Everybody else is on the trade block. All my picks, not all, obviously. But, like, my picks are on the trade block. My players are on the trade block. I'm getting that number one overall pick going all in for Zion. Because, I mean, look at it. Atlanta Hawks, Zion would be good, but who's he going to play with? They don't really have many players to play with. They're still in full-on rebuild mode. They don't have much to build off of, and he'd be the first building block. Same with the Knicks. Same with a lot of other bottom feeder teams that would be fighting for it. But then, if you add Zion to the Suns, they already have a lot of nice young players, and they have a much higher ceiling than someone like the Hawks or the Knicks would if they do draft Zion. So I think the Suns need to go all out on this, and this is going to be probably the most impactful draft out of any team. I think Phoenix Suns have a chance to completely change around their NBA's organization right now I really do think that in my head so yeah another team that would be pretty interesting I might be just biased like the Pelicans the Pelicans are having a disappointing season Anthony Davis wants to leave but maybe if we are somehow bad enough and somehow get lucky enough to get the number one overall pick we could get Zion but that's gonna be a whole another video so if you do want to see me make a video like that for the Pelicans or any other team comment that below as well and if you like then play the like button and subscribe button and I can't thank you all enough for all the support I've been showing but I also have to give all thanks to God he's the reason I'm here he's blessed me to put me in this position to succeed to make these videos almost every other day for you guys so I just cannot thank y'all enough for that at all he's blessed me so much he's blessed me with the people around me he's blessed me with all my friends keep me motivated and really helped me do this and you know just good vibes at all times I just cannot, I'm just so so blessed by the man upstairs I just cannot thank y'all enough can't thank him enough I'm so blessed but like I said that's it for this video so if you like doing play like my and subscribe button hope you have a blessed day have a blessed day so you need to have a blessed day see you in tomorrow's video goodbye boo blah, blah, blah.